Hello everybody and welcome to a very quick unboxing video where my wife has actually opened this up already, she thought it was a present that we were expecting. Uh, I haven't had a look in here yet and she's made sure there's a piece of paper on the top here so we can't see what's inside but I believe this is from my good friend Marcin over in Poland. Uh, he's the guy behind Printformers, remember he sent me that cliff jumper upgrade head. He said he was going to send a parcel to me with a few bits and pieces in. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's open up. Oh, we have a letter here first. I shall read it to you. Thank you for taking the time to look at some of my stuff. Here's a quick list of what is inside. We have a Generation Rotor Storm kit, plus the whale figure. The tail is already removed. A jazz weapon set. There are guns for Classics Jazz and Toy World Jazz, as well as AC connectors to attach the launcher to Coolsville, J for Zeds, uh, that's that uh, Generation Toys version of Jazz, wasn't it? And the RTS Jazz. There's also a connector for Target Master on his shoulder, awesome. There's the Ultra Magnus launchers, the Power Master Prime comic head, the cross plates for Backdraft, that's the Art Fire variant, the, oh, how do they pronounce it? It's the spin out. Uh, the chest fix, uh, which he's actually showed me before. That does look good. And he's a great figure. I hope you have a chance to see him in person someday. I, I would like spin out. If anybody has one going cheap, please let me know. Um, I would like just to play around with him because I think it got highly criticized but looked phenomenal. Uh, there's some G1 Seeker wing raisers. Uh, various guns, including a rifle for the up and coming Prowl Blue Streak smokescreen set. Uh, new neck attachment and some small mods. There's a Ben badge and a Ben Lithophane. Lithophane. What are they? What are the Lithophanes? That'd be interesting to see that, I think. I hope I didn't forget anything. These are some of my projects that I make want to share with you and other fans. The Rotor Storm kit is hard for me to make because of the painting involved, so I'll probably be selling it or possibly even sharing the print files for free. This guy is awesome. Marcin is absolutely awesome one of the kindest guys i've ever met and i'm curious what you think with the rise of popularity of 3d printers i hope that we can see a lot more of files from people to print at home and enrich our hobby in the future best regards martin what a bloody nice chap right let's open up ah this is what one of those is let's get it out of the uh, packaging He's shown me these before. He's shown me uh, he'd done these of uh, like a photo of somebody. Ah, you you can't see it on here, but uh, if I can just catch the light behind there, you move it and it's completely kind of translucent. And it's me. It's <laughs> it's very nicely printed. Awesome. I shall have that on the side of my desk, Martin. Thank you. And ah, and this must be. My badge as well. Look, I'll, uh, you know, I could probably get ink on there and just use that as a stamp as well. Because <laughs> I, I often go around putting stamps of my logo on things. <laughs> right, let's start off. This is, must be the uh, backdraft armor. Uh, there's just the small hip pieces that fit onto a backdraft buttocks. I don't have backdraft at the moment, but I'll see if I can get a hold of him to show off this kit. This is the Meister gear. Now I do have Toy World Jazz, so we can see what this looks like once it's done. And he's completely right, you know. People are buying 3D printers now. They're becoming more and more affordable. I know, Venkster does it. Uh, he's printing off some amazing pieces uh, that he's brought to TFCon in the past. Martin, these Baggies are super tight. <laughs> uh, there we go. We got Jazz on the front there, and we got the Meister gear. How oh, blimey! Uh, so we've got the connectors. That's the Target Master connector. This is the RTS connector. This is a Jazz Four connector, and this is his launcher. Does that work? Quite possibly. And then we have the gun gun again you know what if these were 
just smoothed down and painted up and he would look exceptionally well done. I shall get Jazz out by the end of the video and we should take a look at these further. <sighs> what is this one? Now, I get a lot of toys and things from different companies when I purchase things through store credit, etc. And I love doing things like the Sir Toys unboxings or Robot Kingdom unboxings. But these are always some of my favorite because I get things from fans out there or people that just enjoy the hobby. And these, there's passion involved in these. These aren't marketing ploys. These aren't made to make them millions. These are made through love of the fandom. Loads of little guns in here. Lots of nice little projects. Martin, you have got a lot of projects on the go, sir. Wow. How has that not broken? That is super thin. How on earth did that get printed? Whew. Lovely gun, though. Get two larger guns. I love those cliff jumper heads that he made. Uh, he actually made one that fits on that MP style cliff jumper that I reviewed uh, last year. Now uh, these are the Magnus launchers. These fit on the Combiner Wars Magnus. Now I think I might get a hold of the Combiner Wars Magnus again uh, because the Perfect Effects have done the white Ginrai that fits in there, haven't they? And apparently that's pretty good. I love the red Ginrai, so Ginrai, Jinrai. Is there a definitive way? I believe it's Ginrai, isn't it? Anyway, these are nice, nice launchers. Very nice. I'm gonna keep everything together because I don't want to lose it all. Right, this is the Rotor Storm conversion kit, converting our well into Rotor Storm. Let's have a look. Who's the artwork by? Grim Pixel Studio. Right, what have we got here? These are part of the tail fins, I believe. Got some weapons. Got the head sculpt. These are the new arms. More new arms. These must be the leg adapters, or are these part of the thrusters. And I've got some more joints in here. This will be fun putting all this together, I think. And then we have another gun. It just needs sanding down. Awesome. And then he's already included the modified. Well, this piece has already been detached, so. That'll be nice and fun to put together. What else have we got? There's more. We've got some more guns here. What's this here? Uh, ah. The wing risers or razors. These are Skywarp ones, I believe. And basically, they just make the G1 Seekers, they just lift their wings up at the back. To make them look kind of more cartoon accurate. And then we get... Ah, this is the spin-out chest fix. Yeah, I do need to get a hold of him. If anybody has him going cheap, then please let me know. Ideally within the UK, because I don't have a great deal of money. Uh, so shipping is normally a killer for me. Ah, and this is the comic book head. Now, I saw somebody comment on this and was actually quite cruel uh, saying about the head saying it looked ridiculous, but it isn't. If you've seen how he looked in the comic, uh, that is pretty much it. It was the Marvel UK comics, I believe. Uh, ah, yes, look, marvellous prime. That's actually pretty spot on. done a pretty darn good job it looks the part marching 
if you're a Marvel UK fan, you will remember this fathead prime. <laughs> Here are some of those modifications up and running. I've got a Generations style rotor storm. Uh, this is a pretty nice dandy little kit. Now, He's still working on the wings, which peg in to the slots here, so it's not going to be an unsightly bit there. They weren't in the packaging, unfortunately, though. But yeah, we got a nice, nice head sculpt there. Very uh, reminiscent of the G1 toy. We've got new forearms, which replace the existing hook hands. A little bit loose on there. Uh, the resistance isn't quite right on this piece here but still very nice looking uh, definitely a vast improvement on the original hook hands uh, let's take a look at the guns the guns are a very nice nod to the original and they can don't quote me on this but i believe they can be stored just in the back here just tabbing in like so or we can have them going the other way up so they tab in and face upwards and they just sit nicely because they do look very in keeping with that rest of that backpack. Now we can actually bring this together if we want to. Uh, I personally just have it sitting down at the back like so, but it does come up. These are all new sections. These have just been added on as well. And going down to the feet, we actually have feet. We have working heel spurs that can come out and the foot can come forwards. Uh, so we can actually pull off some nice poses and we now have a rotor storm, uh, which in my honest opinion, uh, yes, the blue is a little bit off. Got to remember this is printed plastic, not injection molding. So the resistances are still a fraction off, but if you're good at painting up, things and you want to build up your generations display and you have a well lying around then yeah i think it's a pretty nice little mod uh, something i definitely couldn't do this is well beyond me it really is uh, but yes with this additional section on with the wings and that it really will look the part and it does transform uh, i'll include a link to martin's channel below here and he's basically reviewed all of the sets that he's made uh, with instruction videos on how to install them majority of his videos are in polish but he does do uh, english in them as well let's just take a look at jazz uh, he got hold of toy world jazz and he like me likes him uh, but he likes this kind of toy aesthetic uh, masterpiece style whereas i'm all for the animation style camp it's a potato potato but he's included uh, the bracket to go in over the top of jazz's shoulder and we actually get the missile launcher i don't think it fires i'm not sure i have to i should really ask him shouldn't i <laughs> but yes it's a very nice launcher and we do get a kind of toy inspired gun as well as opposed to the toy world gun that we got and finally we have god ginrai uh, marvel uk style uh, i didn't transform them all up i just switched out the head uh, and that's actually probably one of my favorite heads that you've done uh, i loved the marvel uk comics people are probably looking at that thinking ben that is ridiculously wide and it looks nothing like optimus prime Go back and read those old comics. He looked like this. There was a big difference between his cartoon counterpart and how he looked in the comics. In fact, nigh on all of the Transformers looked so different back in the day. Oh, now I'm reminiscing. I sound incredibly old, don't I? <laughs> uh, but yes, this is the Marvel UK style head. It does rotate still if i don't turn the entire body it's on a mushroom peg and it does have the ability to look up and down as well uh, it's very very good margin very good indeed now will somebody please make me a diaclone style mp10 head uh his head had kind of those really 
long antennae. He had some like missiles or something on his arms. Uh, but nobody's actually done Diaclone style MP10. I know Dogstar was starting to do some. I never know. I don't know whether he ever finished those. But yes, I'm digressing. This is all thanks to Marchin. The guy is a legend. These are really fun little kits. Uh, if you're a customizer, then pay him a visit. He's got some very nice ideas. And it's guys like this that need to make a break. They need companies to approach them, employ them, and get things like this marketed properly and done with injection molding. Thanks again to Margin for sending these out to me. I really do appreciate little packages like this. Uh, they mean the world to me. It's great that you want to share your passion with me and allow me to share your passion with the rest of the world. If you have something like this that you want to send me and want me to take a look at, then just email me at info at bensecollectibles.com and we can discuss getting something shipped out. And if you need help with postage or something, then just let me know. Until next time from myself and a very nice package received from my good friend Martin. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.